Hey future millionaires, my name is Isabella and I became a self-made millionaire thanks to online business. Today I'm gonna give you an entire full step-by-step -step guide on how to start your Shopify store in 2025. You guys definitely do not have to pay anyone to start your own Shopify store for you. I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this in less than 10 minutes. Not only am I gonna show you how to build your full Shopify store ready to get you sales, but I'm also gonna show you how to connect your own custom domain to it and many other things that are necessary for your business growth. Let's get right into today's tutorial. So usually with Shopify, you'll get one month for a dollar, but I found a special link just for you guys with a new promotion that's gonna get you Shopify three months for $1. So make sure you guys use that link right at the top of my description box down below to sign up for Shopify through that link. I'll also put it in the top comment for you guys. After you click that link, it will bring you to this page. Then just enter your email address and click start free trial. It's going to ask you to just answer some of these questions. You can just click skip all or go through the questions. They really don't matter much. Then just click your country and click next. Then finish the sign up process and it's gonna bring you to this page. This right here is the Shopify dashboard. And it might look a little overwhelming at first, but I promise I'll keep it as simplified as possible for you guys. I also sectioned out this video with timestamps. So if you need to get to certain parts, feel free to use those timestamps in my description box. So the first thing we're gonna do is to choose a theme for our online store and to make it look beautiful. So on the Shopify main page here, just click online store and then click themes. You will see here Shopify shows you free themes that you can use. Honestly, the free themes are great. You do not have to use a paid one. Just look through them and add the one you want to your store by clicking add. For this video, I'm of course gonna just use a free theme that looks simple to start with. I'm gonna just click add and it's gonna install this theme right into your store. Now just click publish, click publish again. When you're here, click customize. And here is where the fun part begins. So let's click on the color section under your theme settings. And we're just gonna play around with the colors to find what's gonna match our brand and products. So just for this video, I'm just gonna pretend I'm starting an online store with kitchen gadgets. You can see here, you can customize things like headers, footers, buttons, and more, but I don't like to take too much time obsessing over this. The goal is to just keep it simple, clean, and professional. You also wanna make sure you pick a theme that looks really good on mobile because 90% of users are actually shopping on their phones. This was like a crazy statistic. So just make sure that you also pick a theme that also is gonna look good on mobile. So now we're gonna add our important pages, like an about us page, a shipping policy, and the terms and conditions page. So just go back to your Shopify dashboard, click online store, and then click pages. Add a new page by clicking add page. For example, let's add a shipping policy page. And if you need help writing this, you could actually just go to ChatGPT and ask it, create a shipping policy page for my online kitchen gadget store. And once ChatGPT generates this content, you can literally just copy it and paste it into the page editor. And then you can make any changes that you need after that. And when you are done, you can just click save. Then to make this page visible, just go to the navigation, click main menu and add your page here. Now the customers are gonna be able to see it on your store menu, which is gonna make your store look just a lot more legitimate and trustworthy. Now let's add products to this online store. On your Shopify dashboard, click products on the left menu, click add product, and then upload your product photos. For us, since we are a kitchen gadget store, I'm just gonna upload these high quality images that I got from my supplier. And this is obviously gonna depend on what you're doing. Maybe you have your own photos, maybe you have it from a supplier or a digital product photo. Whatever you're doing, just upload that photo here. And we're gonna just add our title and our description here. And you can actually use Shopify's generate text button to create a description, or you can just write your own. So here's an example description that we made for our product. This is important because I want you guys to actually look professional with your product listings. So here we have effortlessly slice and dice your fruits and vegetables with our fruit and veg salad slicer. This kitchen tool enables precise uniform cuts, ensuring an aesthetically pleasing presentation, save time and efforts and meal preparation while promoting healthier eating habits. This is also a great place to put like if you are a next day shipper or say, there, you wanna just enclose that it's like fast shipping. You could say like two day shipping and just kind of put your points here. Here, you're gonna add your price and the cost per item. So for example, if the slicer costs you $15 to source, you're obviously gonna sell it for $30 or more. 
And Shopify will calculate your profit margin for you right here. If your product comes in different colors or sizes, add them as variants like silver or black here. Then just click save and your product will appear in your store. And you can just add more products just by repeating this same process. So of course, don't forget to set up your payment options under the finances tab. So just go to the finance tab and just make sure you set these up because this is how you're gonna actually receive your money from your customers. And don't worry, each thing that you go through, they're gonna walk you through the steps here. So don't worry, it's not too complicated. So something really important guys is make sure that you guys pick a plan because if you forget, you will lose all of your progress. So make sure that you guys go here, click here, and then you can pick one of these plans to use Shopify. I always just go for the basic plan. You don't usually need anything fancy when you're first starting off, but obviously it's up to you and what you are specifically doing, but I always just use the most basic one. And then as my business grows, I upgrade. Um, so that is what I usually use. So you'll click on which plan you want, and then you'll just put in your card information here, and then you will finish up this section. Again, do not forget to do this, because if you do forget and these three days go by, then you will lose everything that you just created. So I just wanted to make sure you guys were clear with that. And then of course you will get the promotion three months for a dollar, which is really awesome because they have not had this promotion for a while now. So definitely take advantage of it while it is out right now. Now Shopify does give you a free domain that you can use as a beginner. So you can start promoting your store right away and getting sales. But once you're sure about a name for your business and you want your online store to look even more professional and official, getting a custom domain will be worth it. For example, Rihanna has rihanna.store, Shopify uses shopify.com and Behance is behance.net. So you can see the ending of these links, that part like .store.com.net, that's the domain name. And it sets each website apart. I personally create all my online stores with .store because it just makes sense for me. And when the customers are clicking on your link, they know that it's a store. Even Mr. Beast, Cristiano Ronaldo, and a million others are doing the same thing. Having this also makes your store way more easier to find. The word store is simple and people love using it when they are looking to buy stuff. So websites that have .store at the end of their name get two times the visibility on Google. Just by using a .store domain, it can also get you discounts up to $2,500 on even more e-commerce tools like Wix, ShipStation, Vistaprint, MailChimp, and so many more. You can get your .store domain from Shopify, Namecheap, GoDaddy, pretty much anywhere has .store domains that you can get but I actually found a promotion for you guys, of course, where you can get your domain for only 99 cents for the first year. Usually after that, for my domains, I've paid anywhere between 10 to $30, so it's not like anything crazy after that one year. I put the link for that in my description box down below. Just make sure you guys do use at checkout Isabella store as the code when checking out. Now I'm gonna actually show you guys how to connect this domain to your online store. So after you get this domain, and you can see I got this brand new domain for only 99 cents, just click on control panel. Then it's gonna bring you to this page. So this is our control panel. We're then gonna click on manage orders and click on list slash orders. Then just click on your domain. You can see here that the domain is active. So this right here is your domain control panel. Just keep this up in one tab and we're gonna now go back to Shopify. So now we're back to our Shopify dashboard and I want you guys to click here on settings. Just click on domains. You'll see this option right here called domains in the settings, just click that. And then you're gonna just click on connect existing domain. So now you're just gonna type in the same exact domain that you just purchased and click next. Now they just want you to update the DNS records to kind of connect the domain to your Shopify. So just go back to your domain registration control center and click on list slash search orders. So just hover over manage orders, click the list slash search orders. It's gonna then bring you back to this page. So scroll down here and I want you guys to click manage DNS. Then it's gonna pop up this here. Then we just need to verify the same thing that it has on Shopify for these, what they call records. So click on CNAME records right here. We're gonna do this one first. And you can see here the CNAME is also showing on the Shopify as well. So we're gonna just type in 23277-3865 here. So under here, destination IPv4 address, you're gonna just type in this number, that the same number that it has on the Shopify. Now you're gonna click on CNAME and click add CNAME record. Then you're gonna just type in the original domain of the Shopify that you had before, because basically what we're doing is we're redirecting 
the original Shopify domain to the new domain. So when somebody types in the new domain, it will take you to the that original online store website domain. So when you're done with that, just click on add record, then click add C name record again. And we're gonna do the same thing. So just type in www before the kitchen craft food store. And under value, we're gonna just type in shops.myshopify.com and then click add record again. So it should look like this when you guys are done with this. And if for any reason you get stuck, you guys can literally talk to a dot store customer representative and they can help you out with this, I promise. So let's go back to our A records. You can see here, this looks good. We can go to our C name records again, and we have that here. Now we can go to Shopify back again and then just click on verify. Now you can see that it's verifying the domain that we just added. And this will take usually 24 to 48 hours. Okay, so now we picked a theme for our store, we customized our th store, we added the pages, we got our domain, we connected the domain, we are moving along. I wanna show you a couple more features that you can add to your online store. So on the Shopify dashboard, click online store again, then click themes, then click customize. We're gonna go back into the customization page. So now we're here and our online store is coming along so good. I'm so excited. So I wanna actually show you how to create a logo for your store. So I'm gonna show you guys all these different features that you guys can use within your store builder customization options here. So let me go through a couple ones that I do like to use right now. So first we're gonna just scroll back up and let's just first update our website banner. This is also called an announcement bar. So if you have a sale, you can change this. You can do different things here. So click under announcement bar on the left-hand side, just click on welcome to our store. And it's gonna then on the right side, pull up this text box. And you can actually type in this text box, whatever you want. So you could say free item with every order, free shipping up to $50 and up. You could do a couple of different things here. So we're gonna just type in free shipping on orders over $50. And you can see here, it updates at the same time that we're putting it in. So you can see what it looks like right away. When you're done with that, just click on save. So if you hover over the header, here's where you can change even more things up on this header. So hover over header and it's gonna bring down all these different options you can do. So you have main menu, you have like different color themes here that you can change. If you wanna edit your logo, you can just click on this button called theme settings. Then you can see after you click that, it gives you the option to actually change the logo. So you can upload your own logo here. So if we go over to Canva, Canva is a free platform that I use all the time. I just have the free version here. If we go over to these tabs here on the left, there's a bunch of different things that you guys can get for your logo. So this is the easiest way to make it. If you guys go to design and then we'll type in kitchen. And you can see here, there's already so many different logos that are related to kitchen. So no matter what niche you're in, you can find a logo based on that niche. So here's a really cute one. So we can literally just change this to our kitchen gadget store here or to whatever your brand name is. And then we already have a really nice logo ready to go that we can use in our online store. So just for jokes, let's just put Batty's Catering. And this is what it would look like. Feel free to play around with Canva. Um, it might, if you guys are new to Canva, it might be a little weird at first, but I promise just by actually playing around with it and like trying different things, um, you get a lot more used to it. And again, you can see here, there are so many different logos that you can just get, they're already done for you. So this is probably the easiest way to get a professional logo and you can do this with every single niche. And of course, because we're doing one for Shopify, we wanna just make sure that we're keeping it super, um, like thin for the top of the Shopify store. So I'm just gonna delete this hat right here. And now we just have our logo. I like the font that they chose here for, called Kitchen Craft Delicious Tools. We'll just keep it like this just for the example. It looks really good. So when you go to save this logo, go up to the upper right-hand corner and click on share. Then you're gonna turn the size all the way up. This is gonna make it really um, high resolution. Then just make sure you select transparent background and you can deselect the pages. You only need one page for this because we're gonna just get rid of that hat to keep it very um, horizontal and thin. So feel free to like use aspects of these logos in your logo. Then just click on download. If you need to resize it, you can do all of that here under the resize button and you can even resize it like this as well. So going back over to our Shopify customization page, we're gonna just click select right here next to the logo, click add images we can upload our image of this logo that we just made, select it, and then just click done. 
And now we can see how this is gonna look on mobile and the desktop. I think it looks great. And having your own custom logo is gonna look much more professional than you just typing your name in into the store. So I definitely recommend utilizing this. So under colors, let's just check and see other colors that might match our store good. You can see these are the editing schemes here that you can just test out different ones. And we're keeping this super simple. We're honestly just having like a black and white scheme, color scheme. Um, but you can see here that this is all customizable. So you can change pretty much everything about your online store with all these different aspects. So let's just go ahead and play around with this and let's change this to a gradient here. So you guys can see what I'm doing. You can follow right along with what I'm clicking here. All you have to do is just if you want a background gradient, you can just see right here, it's background gradient. You can just scroll over whichever one you want that you like, and then it will add this gradient to the background of your store. This will really just like bring in some extra colors. So you have a really simple white background, and then you bring in these gradients, and I just love the look of this. And you can add these color schemes then to anything that you want. So you can add it to the announcement bar. We can add it to the bottom here. There's anywhere you can just play around with it and just check and see how it looks. So after playing around with this, just trying some different things, we now have our online store ready to go and it looks so amazing. You can see our products look very good. I love how it crosses out the other price that we had originally, so it shows the discounted price. We have our description that looks great. We have the add the cart button, that's functioning good. And you can see how seamless like this whole checkout process is. I would say Shopify really does kill it as far as how fast the um, like the checkout page is. I feel like it's always like just very seamless and easy to go through for the customer. It always loads fast. And this is looking really good. And you guys can see here the pages that we added, the contact page, the shipping policy pages are all here as well. So this looks really professional as well because you wanna make sure that when people are on your store that they see that you have customer service, you care about your store, you have the shipping policies, the contact button. So this will immediately make you look like a more legitimate brand and business. So everything is looking really good. So now we have our fully built Shopify online store ready to go and it looks great. I hope you guys learned lots from today's tutorial. I hope this helped you out tons. If you guys are actually a beginner and like you don't actually know what you should sell in your online store or what type of business model to do, I have made videos just about this on my YouTube channel. If you guys don't already know, my YouTube channel is your number one source for 100% free education and courses. I have so many different free courses there for you guys that you can take advantage of, not just tutorials like this, but actual in-depth business models, showing you how to start them, showing you how to source products and so much more. And of course, most importantly, how to grow your online store. A lot of people show you how to set up these online stores or show you how to start online businesses, but not everybody actually teaches you how to grow them. So I have free courses on my YouTube channel just about organic marketing, how to grow without buying ads, exactly what made me a millionaire. So I don't gatekeep anything for you guys. It's all 100% free on my YouTube channel. If you guys don't need help, feel free to leave a comment down below. I try to respond to all of my comments. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at baddieandbiz, baddieandbiz for more business inspiration and updates. And I will see you guys in my next free course. Bye everyone.